he say? Hi guys. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. What's your name? Yeah. Today I want to share with you a really simple and easy tea cookie recipe that uh, my aunt, who is supposed to be here, <laughs> um, has been making practically our whole lives and they're a child favorite. We love them. She is obsessed and I'm going to show you how to make them because they're kind of like black and white cookies where it's like half vanilla, half chocolate and you mix together and they're just delicious. They are delicious. We are, <laughs> listen, we're friends, you and I, right? So we know that this, these are crazy times that we're living in. So I don't have a babysitter. You guys know I don't have a team. It's just Joe, myself, and a sitter when she when we film. I don't have a sitter right now, so she's gonna make a lot of appearances. There's gonna be Barbies. She's gonna be up and down, but we're gonna make it work because I am determined to still bring you content, to bring you a little bit of joy, and to let you know that I am feeling your feelings, but we are in this together. So I hope you don't mind, but hey, we've got Barbies. Everything's fine. As long as Barbies and cookies are fine, we're fine. Let's get started. The ingredients are very basic. You might already have them on hand, which is fabulous, right? If you don't have cocoa powder, you can make all vanilla. You can add lemon zest to the vanilla. I mean, it's really easy. We're just gonna add in this big bowl some sugar and some butter. Oh, you gonna help me? Yeah. The butter's really, really soft because I popped it in the microwave for a few seconds. All right, can you go ahead and mix these? Yeah. Then you just need flour, baking powder of some sort. I'm using Italian baking powder and you need a pinch of salt, a couple of eggs, a splash of vanilla, a couple of tablespoons of cocoa powder, and you'll need some either granulated sugar or, or pearl sugar if you have it. Traditionally, you top it with pearl sugar for a crunch, but if you don't have it, I'm gonna show you how to roll it in regular sugar and they are fine and they're delicious and she doesn't like pearl sugar, so I always do most of it with regular granulated sugar. Okay. Are you doing a good job? Yeah. I think so. Something I wanted to share with you, I've been talking to you guys so much on Instagram and it has been what's been keeping me sane and going through these times. You know, if you feel like, if you feel so overwhelmed, if you feel like I can't possibly do another activity okay. with my kid, all done? Yeah. Really try to get them involved in the kitchen. She will cook, make dough, by cook, I mean she puts things in a pan, but the stove is off, but she thinks she's cooking. She will make dough. We will make a uh, pancake batter together and make pancakes and waffles for the freezer. Just anything to keep her attention for a while and get her really involved in what we're doing and just makes the time go by and she loves it, so it's a good activity. And she always likes to eat what she makes, so that's a good tip for you. Go ahead, let's break it in here, one at a time. Go ahead and add the egg right in here. Okay, let's add this one first and then we'll crack the next one. Good, now let's crack this one. Go ahead, show me how you do it. On the side. <laughs> oh, you did it! Oh, look at that! Just a little shell, but I'll get it out. Just get through it. We will get through it together. Let me get this little bit of shell out and then we're gonna add that to the cookie. Oh, that egg, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's another little shell. They're going to be very crunchy cookies. How do you feel about that? Yes. You like that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a splash of vanilla and then just mix this really well. Is that nice? Yes. Okay, before we go any further in adding all of the flour, I need yeah. you, yes, I need you to take out two tablespoons of flour. And I'll explain to you why in a second. We're going to take those out. Here, let's mix it all together and add it in here. Go ahead. Good job. Good. Okay, now we're gonna switch to a spatula. Let's switch to a spatula. This one. And we're just gonna fold everything together. You can do this, obviously, in your standing mixer. Um, but then she wouldn't have so much involvement and it would be a nightmare. <laughs> because she wants to be able to do it herself, so. I'm just going to mix this until incorporated and I'll show you the next step. Okay, once you have it all mixed, you're going to take half of this and you're going to add it right here, which you will then mix in those two tablespoons of flour and that's so that the dough has the same consistency because to this half, I'm going to add some cocoa powder. Does that make sense? I'm adding two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Um, if you weren't adding cocoa powder and you were just doing all vanilla, then you would want to add the flour all at the same time. 
right? In the vanilla, you can add lemon zest, you could add a pinch of like um, cardamom, you could add orange zest, you could add cinnamon, you could add really anything that you, you wanted to flavor it up because it's a pretty plain, like simple, like tea cookie, like little biscuit cookie. So I'm just gonna mix the chocolate and I'm gonna mix the, the, the flour in the vanilla portion and I'm going to just put these in small bowls. Whoa, Nelly! And I'm going to pop them into the fridge for 15 minutes and then we start rolling them. Okay, so my cookie dough was in the fridge. It was about to say oven. It was in the fridge for 15 minutes. What I've done is I've taken a small um, ice cream scoop. This is the equivalent to like a little less than two teaspoons. You don't have to be that precise about it, but a small one. You don't want a big tablespoon one, unless you want really big cookies, then by all means, make it bigger because you're going to then scoop. So we have 12 of the vanilla and we need 12 of the chocolate, right? Because we are going to unite these. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when I have a few done, because I wanna show you the two versions that we're gonna coat. Um, because you know, Life's fun. By the way, Sue Chef's taking a nap. Let's let's see how long this lasts. <laughs> let's see how long this lasts. Okay, so once you have them um, portioned out, whatever, you just roll them in your hands. One and two, right? I'm gonna do, I typically do, all, I roll them all and then I just start to unite them together. Um, it doesn't really matter how you do this. Uh, when we were little, we made these types of cookies. They're so perfect for kids, and like I said, they are so versatile. You can braid them, you can make cute little designs, but we used to call these abracci because you are hugging two different types of cookie dough. That's what they're called. So, I'm going to give you an abraccio. I'm going to give you a hug. All right, so, once you have them all rolled up, you just take two, okay? You just put them together, and then you literally just roll them in your hands in between your palms for a few seconds. You want to make sure that they're really sealed in there really good, like a so. See? And then you just dip the top into the sugar of your choice. We've got granulated sugar. You can dip the entire thing if you want. I typically just do the bottom, uh, the top, I'm sorry. And then we're going to do another one in pearl sugar. I have this zucchero, um, zucchero granella, which looks like brioschi. If your nonna's ever used brioschi, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's really good and sweet and crunchy, so I'm going to go ahead and just form all of my cookies, and then I'm going to pop them in a 375 degree oven for about eight minutes. And then once they are baked, I will show you what they look like. Just set them apart a couple inches from each other. All right, my cookies were in the oven 10 minutes. I let them cool a little bit, but this one, she's not, not having it. She's like, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm good, I'm right here. How's your cookie? <laughs> I figured, who's a better taste tester than the one that I told you loves these cookies, right? Can I have a bite? <gasps> You're not gonna share with me? Please? Mine. Fine. I have this one. They are really perfect. They took 10 minutes, um, but they are just tender and gorgeous. They're still really hot. Um, really hot. It tastes like childhood. If you like panistelle, the chocolate portion with the pearl sugar tastes like panistelle. Yes? Mom, I see the egg. You see an egg in there? Yeah, right here. How is it? It's little eggy. Mmm. Isn't it good? Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. So delicious. Me too. Laura in the kitchen.com for the recipe. Said, I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Oh, I love you. I love you. Go to laurainthekitchen.com for the recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with us, and we will see you next time. Say bye.